you never miss a new video. You know, the other day I was watching some gameplay of Extinction, and I thought about how cool it would be if something like that existed in real life. And then I remembered, it does exist, and they're called Bryzoans. Brian, I challenge you to find Bryzoans. I know Lake Hickory's just chock full of them, just like the Mystery Snails. Two years. It's been nearly two years, John, since you re-challenged us for the Critter Hunter Challenge. But today we're going to go out and we're going to teach you everything that we know about the Bryzoan here in our freshwater. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scooby Marine. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now here in our lake, we got a very vast ecosystem. We got all different types of ecologies out here. But we were challenged to go out and specifically find a bryzoan. And I'm going to show you where you can find these guys right up in Nick's or near the land where you don't even actually have to go diving for them. But then I'm going to take you underwater and I'm going to show you how they kind of interact with our local environment as well. But over here behind me, we're actually at the boat ramp here at our marina. And if you've ever been here before, you know it's just a basic concrete ramp that goes down in the water. But there's a lot of structures here that get washed up. Anytime we have a heavy rain or something, all these structures will get washed up. You can see I got a bunch of debris here, a bunch of driftwood and stuff. And if you look close enough, you'll start to see these little jelly-like structures stuck to it. And everybody thinks it's just lake slime or lake sludge. But every so often, you'll find a big ball of jelly, if you will. And that's what an actual Bryzoan is. It's a big ball of jelly. But there's more to it than that. Did you know that the Bryzoans can survive not only in freshwater, they can also survive in saltwater as well. And I've got a great example I'm going to show you here in just a second. But I'm going to break down what a Bryzoan is and how you can tell whether or not your ecosystem is healthy or not. The Bryzoan is nothing more than a simple aquatic invertebrate animal. And it's actually more than just one animal. It's made up of many different bryzoas, or what's known as zoids, and they come together to form a colony. Now this colony thrives on uh, anything small in the water column. So it can live in both freshwater and saltwater, and it's basically a filter feeder, if you will. It's also a good indication that you have a very, very healthy ecosystem. Now you may see these on the bottom of your boat if you're pulling your boat out of the water to clean it, or you may see them on small structures as well. We see them all the time diving on our structures while underwater. All right, guys, we're going to dive right in and see if we can find us some Bryzoans real quick. I really don't think it's going to take that long because our lake is absolutely flooded with these Bryzoans. Um, a couple of the things that we want to focus on in this video is the different forms that a Bryzoan can take. And you're going to see really quick, one of the first forms it takes is kind of that of moss, if you will. And Bryzoans are known as moss creatures. And as soon as we come across the line here leading to our platform, you'll see all this moss or grass hanging off the line. Well, that's actually actually the early stages of the bryzoan coming together to form the colony of what you saw earlier there on land. So that's one of the first stages that we see in bryzoans is that moss type uh, structure. As that moss comes together, of course, then we're going to start to see the uh, bryzoan create an exoskeleton. And this is where we get that jelly-like structure that we saw on land as well. And that's the easiest way I know how to describe this when you're holding it. It's actually like a jelly type structure. Now, we do see a lot of times these Bryzoans on the bottom of our boats. We'll see them when we reel in, say, if you're fishing and you reel in a little twig or something, it'll bring it in. Or in our case, we see them around the boat ramps a lot because they'll get stuck to um, the bottom of wood and things like that. And as we're cleaning that stuff out of the waterway, we'll see that. But now the cool thing about Bryzoans is it lets you know that you have a very, very healthy ecosystem because it takes a healthy ecosystem for the Bryzoan to um, to thrive in. The Bryzoans are filter feeders, so they do clean up the waterway as well. And by cleaning up the waterway, it's going to take all those bad impurities and things like that out of the water, which help fish thrive as well. Now, another cool little thing about this, fish love Bryzoans. They'll sit here and maul this stuff. And as you can see, this piece here has just been mauled of live by a lot of the fish species here in our local environment. And so the Bryzoan provides a food source for the fish as well. So not only only does it uh, show you that you have a healthy ecosystem, not only does it thrive in that healthy ecosystem, but it provides a food source for the fish as well. 
Now, like I said, a lot of times you're going to come in contact with this if you're a boater, if you're a fisherman, because you will get this moss type structure stuck to your boat if you, if you leave it in the water. So when you pull it out of the water, just simply uh, take it off the side of your boat, toss it back in the water, and it can continue to live. Here's another great piece as well. You can see where the fish have just kind of come in and just mauled it to pieces. But they thrive year round. They're going to thrive in the spring, the summer, the fall, and even the winter. So you can see this in your local environment just about any time throughout the year and like i stated at the beginning of the video they survive both in fresh water and in salt water as well so there you go that's what the freshwater bryzoan is i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as well if you've ever seen these when you're out fishing or if you're just out boating on the water let me know what's the largest side of bryzoan that you've ever seen well, for us to end this video, we need to make another challenge to continue the Critter Hunter Challenge. And we're going to challenge Jeff over at Seattle Ring Hunter to go out and find us the Pacific Northwest Octopus. So, Jeff, the challenge is on your shoulders now. Let's see if you can find us an octopus. You guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.